Hi everyone, my name is Mike Antonacci and I'm here to help you become the hero God is calling you to be. And this week's video is all about my top five books I read in the past year. The rules were I had to read the entire book in the past year, so if I read parts of it, it didn't count. <laughs> post and video it's different instead of doing one of each you know one written and one video I'm just doing one because of the eclipse and I didn't really want to have to do a second one so whichever your preferred format is whether you like to read things more like to watch things more you can do that because it's pretty much the same thing it's not gonna be like word for word the same I'm not I'm um, gonna like completely transcribe everything the only difference is the written one will have um, links like direct links to the books if you want to click on them if not you can just do a, a search online and find the books yourself my top one book that I read in the past year a severe mercy I don't know if you can see that wow that is a lot of glare there it is a severe mercy fantastic book like pretty much anyone I talk to who's read that book agrees that it's amazing it's very raw very human I think this is what storytelling should be like it's just really good um, so the you know from chapter one of the book that the author's wife has died and part of this is him processing through his grief the title comes from C.S. Lewis a personal friend of the author who says that her death was God's severe mercy to you that it was an act of mercy but it was severe. Anyway, really, really good. Highly recommended. Book two, which I do not have a copy of. I got it at the library. The book is called Boundaries. It's by Cloud and Townsend. They're both psychologists, so they go into the psychology of boundaries. They're also Christians, so they do some of the biblical basis. I think it's more heavily on the psychology side. The reason I really think that everyone should read this book, as a culture, we're not so great at setting boundaries, and we're not very good at respecting them either. And so this book addresses why that's a good idea. So highly recommend that one. Book three, deep work. So about a year ago, a bunch of the business blogs I was following all of a sudden started talking about this book. And it, it only came out earlier that year. The premise of it is deep work as opposed to shallow work requires quite a bit of concentration and not being interrupted. But we're interrupted and distracted all the time. He just goes on a totally pragmatic level of why it's a bad idea for businesses to not um, foster a culture of deep work. I like the cultural commentary, which he doesn't do as much of, but like that we're distracted culture. So really good book, highly recommend. Book four, The Intellectual Life. Interestingly enough, this book was actually one of the sources for deep work. It's written by a French Dominican priest, and the thesis of it is that the call of the intellectual is to bring truth to the world, which I thought had really cool parallels to Pope John Paul II's letter to artists, where he said the call of the artist is to bring beauty to the world. And then the rest of the book is practicals of how the intellectual can, in fact, bring truth to the world. So really good one also. Number five, difficult conversations. I'd read Crucial Conversations before, and that's a good book. It has a lot of practicals of how to handle those touchy conversations we like to run away from. Why I think difficult conversations is better is it gets into why are the conversations difficult in the first place? For example, um, one key thing of a crucial conversation as defined by that book is that emotions run strong. A point difficult conversations makes is emotions are not a byproduct of the conversation. They, in fact, are the conversation. They are the main topic of the conversation. So one example they give is if a mother finds cigarettes hidden in her teenage daughter's room and confronts her about it. You think that the conversation is about the cigarettes. It's actually about the mother's feelings of worry that the daughter's getting in with the, with the wrong crowd and the daughter's feelings of the mother controlling her life. If you don't address those feelings, you actually haven't had the conversation. So there you have it. These are my top five books that I read in the past year. I highly recommend reading them. I think you should definitely read them. Um, if you only read one of them, it should be a severe mercy and it should jump to the top of your reading list. It's that good. So I hope that these books help you become more heroic. And as I always sign off with, be a hero today.